right, we're back and we got the purification set up here. And we're just, well, we're finishing setting it up, I should say. But this will hopefully give us oxygen for or doubling. Or tripling, I should say. And if we can use the flint. We'll have to get an oxygen tank in here, though. Which means we are going to have to make an electro separator to make oxygen and hydrogen. Let's see what we need. Test. So I need osmium. Going with mechanism. We'll gradually get to five, which is the max. But now that should start tripling. It's not eating our power too bad, which is good. Using up quite a bit of flint. But yep. Gonna produce three, which is gonna produce three ores. Well, that's definitely better than our smelting table right now. Or I should say our tinkerer's smelter. Bring the dirty osmium into dust and cooking that up. That's what you should be doing. Yep. That's gonna make us ingots. There we are. We now have ore tripling. For some ores. I'm pretty sure I turned off the uh, nuclear on this so that you can't triple the uh, nuclear for the extreme reactors, but yeah, we need the electro. Uh, to make that, we need the core. And I'm gonna grind this stuff and I'll be back. It's not that hard to grind this. Alright, so we got the core done. Make our little machine. And where are we going to put it? Should we put it here? No. Put it over here. We got our water pipes hooked up to it now because it, it does need water because it turns water into gas. And there it is making the hydrogen and the oxygen. And yeah, this is quite the little pipe work I got going on here. I might redo this because this is a lot of underwater ducking. I could have done just a water source in here, but you got the pipes, you may as well use them. All right, so it's producing more hydrogen and oxygen, but hydrogen should be able to use for flying. I'm pretty sure. Right now we need tanks though to hold the excess gas. And those are really simple to make for first tier, but we're going to go for second tier. We can't do third yet. We don't have diamonds. Really got to get to work on my chickens. Get some more chickens going. So that'll hold all our excess gases. If not, we can put the machine on dump. Or dump excess. And keep it going, but... That's draining a little bit more power than I want, and uh, we're going to get into some flight because these jetpacks will use hydrogen. So this is our first form of flight. I don't know how hard it all to make. It's just a tank with some metal and a circuit. We could do armored, which is kind of like a little bit of protection, but we need to go put this in a hydrogen tank and charge it with gas to just put it in that little slot and slowly get in hydrogen. So we'll let that fill up. All done. Now, let's see. This is regular. We'll test this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we have some baddies though. I'm gonna clean this up. But yeah, now we got flight. I got hover on, which apparently is the G key.
and you can disable. But yeah, our first flight. Progression. Progression is awesome. In fact, I'm going to build a little frame for this because I'm not going to be using it all the time. Although when I go into the nether, it might be useful because the nether is quite a bad place to be. I did a lot of digging. And tried to run the oxygen tanks through. And found out that I had this underneath. Which I could technically turn into an energy and water area. And I have been making progress with my chickens. I got some gold and steel and... Aluminum, my rubies to repair my pickaxe, snowballs, clay, and a couple of dye chickens. Now we need some glass. I think I need aluminum. You're more of like for the cables. We haven't got a redstone chicken going. But we are going to have to go to the nether because I need chickens from the nether. So I'm not looking forward to that. Got this a little bit more decorated down here. But we're going to set up like a water area where all of my water is going to be coming from. Kind of like our septic area. Well, probably cleaner than our septic. It's one big well, basically. These are filling up nicely. We just gotta get some uh, tanks on it, which we'll probably steal from these areas. Probably steal that tank, actually. There we go. We got our tanks and our water set up here. So. Hopefully this is going to do us, because I should be able to run most of my water lines from here, which would save me a little bit of duct work, not much. My resin line is going, which was trying to connect. So glad for the mechanism tool rod, but I'm not sure how I'm going to separate these two rooms. Maybe I'll just do bunker doors. And yeah, no space for a wall. But we're also going to fit our energy down here, but right now, kind of like to be like a water treatment plant kind of down here. So I'm thinking this with maybe some railing would look nice. Er. And how many people can say they have indoor plumbing? I mean, that's progress for us. Maybe I'll slow the mutation down now that people can sanitize. Torch back. another rail over there I don't know yet but here I want something that's gonna hold a torch on these corners I haven't decided if I'm gonna run it back this way yet although if I fall in here there could be an issue I might have to get a ladder or something water treatment plant area here and over here I am thinking I am going to put an extreme reactor just in this section here so we're going to clear this out and get this cut up so we got it cleared out I still got to take it to the bottom but I figure that's probably a good size for an extreme reactor because it's also going to be our backup battery as well yeah I definitely 
pick up the floor. Get that done, get these basins in. This is the castings, but we need a lot of these. Depending on the size, I went pretty big for my starter generator, but I didn't not planning on wasting the fuel that I have. So I got my reactor rods in. Let's see. Controller. And then the access ports for in and out wastes. And convert you to eject waste. I definitely recommend watching a tutorial when building one of these because even I really have no clue what I'm doing here. I'm messing with tech that is probably semi-dangerous. I'm not quite sure what this reactor redstone port is for, so if you guys know, be sure to leave it in the comments because I've never worked with this block. I'm sure it makes life much easier, but I keep running at castings. But I haven't figured it out yet. I'm all over the place. Oh, I also got this uh, XP drain in there, so I can sanitize after coming in the wastelands. But we're gonna get these ports in, and I think I'm gonna have redstone hook up on both sides of my generator, because I have this solar panel on the other side, and I might have a different type of generator over here and feed them both into this thing like a big power cell. That would be the most logical thing to do, because this thing will hold uh, quite a bit. I'm just going to get these little rods together. In fact, I might put one in the middle, too. It's been proven that a uh, fuel rod in the middle kind of helps it. Depending on your cooling, though. Put this in. So we can see the reactor and the coolants. And I have to uh, finish that and get some coolants in. Get my redstone power hook up so we can hook this into our solar power. And take it out to There, so that's all done. Now we just need to get the coolant in there. I did leave that redstone hook up there just in case. So we are going to use this distilled redstone ore, which is not that easy to locate. In fact, I might have to make a machine to get this stuff because uh, I can't always get a bucket of it. So this magma crucible, which means we do have to go to the nether a little bit sooner than I expected. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Need another rack. All right. You think this place is bad? So wait till you go to the nether. I don't suggest going here unless you absolutely have to, which at some point you will if you want to do chickens. Oh, oh, we're out in the middle of nowhere. This could be in our favor. I got time to protect this. Cause see that over there. That is a lot of trouble. You got regular pigment and then you got armed pigment. Build up a little bit of a platform. See, they're already trying to get me from way over there. See if I can get closer here so you guys can see how aggressive these are. And they will spawn anywhere. Just waiting there for me. 
Just gotta be careful how close I get in the range of lava. Yeah, see. So we're just gonna build this in, just in case they somehow get on my platform. And I did go back and get my jetpack. Because that is a good thing to have right here. Hopefully I don't run out of gas and end up stranded. That would be bad. Just have to get down here. There's some another rack and solar room down here. And then we have to find those chickens throwing themselves off the building at me. Just tuck ourselves in here. Or they all come get us. There. Get our nether rack for our magma crucible. And I'll probably spend a bit of time down here hunting for a chicken. So we need a quartz chicken. There's also I believe it's soul sand chickens in here as well. So there, we got it, I think. Although, I have to get quartz. And I'm not going back to another for quartz. Make a quartz fused glass. So I'm just going to break into the city and uh, get a bit of their quartz. Whatever works. And this should melt down these blocks into buckets of redstone for us. Because the smelter is not set up for that yet. Some extra tanks, because we never have too many things. Hopefully, this will get us the materials that we need. I'm uh, just going to port it out. Alright, so we got the reactor all set up with the distill or the redstone. And got a little bit of uranium here. Now as I said, I didn't set this up for a mechanism or tripling because this is a very rare fuel. So you can only double it at best. But, should get quite a bit of fuel, which will hopefully get us through this. And I am going to make a bunch of tanks, probably, to hold up all the backup power as well. Because this does hold up quite a bit. 12.5% fuel. I'm waiting for this to heat up just to see what kind of... Yeah, it holds quite a bit of RF. 1,000 RF a tick. 1,000 K. This temperature's not going up that high. It seems to be pretty stable at 67. Two point patients. Yeah. Well, it hasn't gone through one bar yet, so... I'd say we did a pretty good job on setting up our first extreme reactor. There we go, she's full already. But yeah, we got the skill book, which is quite useful. Since we're coming to the end of it. But yeah, these are different skills that you can learn that are kind of like passive. Like tougher enemies, feather falling, ladders, stuff like that. Just to furnaces. But it's quite useful. And uh, I've been... Oh, I left the doors open. That's probably not safe. But uh, draining this XP. But yeah, this is... Uh, Probably as much as we have time for today, so I'm going to toss a few of these in the skill book here to see what would be most relevant to me as being useful. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, maybe some ladders. I definitely want some feather falling though. So take care, be safe, and have fun. Bye guys.